Okay, kind of a long video for today. We are getting GS Pro in real time, installing it, setting it up for the Garmin R10. First thing you got to do is buy it. Go to gsprogolf.com, purchase the subscription. This was my Christmas present. You will get a key in your email and the download link. We're going to do a lot of this in real time, so I apologize for the green bars and stuff, but I want people to know how long it takes, what it takes to get it set up with the R10. This is my first time doing everything, so uh, I am going to run the install for GS Pro. I get a warning. They said just push run anyway. I'm going to install for everyone permission and I personally hate installing things on the C drive so I'm going to put a folder in program files called GS Pro and get it installed there Again, apologies real time, just so you know how long it takes. This is no supercomputer I'm installing it on either, just a normal Dell Optiplex with a decent graphics card. So then I get the program installed. When I, the first time I launched it, it went and checked for updates, and looks like it found one and is downloading it. So that's what the subscription means. Instead of paying 250 bucks one time, you pay 250 bucks, and every time you log in, it's going to check for the newest courses, newest versions, uh, newest feature packs that they're working on. This is a fairly large team of software engineers who run this thing, as far as I know. Okay, we get a little window that asks us what kind of graphics we're going to be able to do I'm just going to start with high and see how it looks and functions and then we'll go from there made with unity here's where you'll enter that license key and skip magic to the home screen so as of now I have nothing connected I got this panel and it says on the instructions you gotta hit the API v1 uh, I'm gonna allow it through the firewalls on my private network and on the public networks so I can get to all the servers and stuff for whatever alright now we go to connect the GitHub instructions say just to simply launch this and it will try and find both the GS Pro and your Garmin device through the Garmin app on your phone as long as it's on the same Wi-Fi and then you can enter in the IP and port into the Play E6 Connect Play on PC button in your Garmin app. So here's the first trouble I ran into, and we are just going to fast forward super quick through a bunch of this, but I was having a lot of trouble getting the R10 Connect to even load. So I'm launching, relaunching, trying different types of resolutions, and then I start getting in back to the GitHub and looking through those instructions and for some reason it just was not launching and so I eventually went and re-downloaded the package again extracted it again and then ran it as an admin and I think that must have been the key because then I finally get this, which it was asking for permission to run. 
and then I get the firewall access which I can allow through again so then I get the connected to GS Pro and then on my phone I went and clicked simply the play on PC option and typed in that IP address and that port and we get connected to R10 and so then we send the test shot and that gives us some feedback in the software and it says successful and so I simply uh, went back I wanted to get back into full screen then so I just left that up and the high graphics seem to function really well so I might actually go even higher and here we are we're in for the first time um, you'll see the API connect come up we have a green bar now we are connected I'm playing on my phone right now pushing the play on PC over and over and it's saying it's already connected so uh, it's not a perfect connection but it seems to understand that it's gathering the data and passing it on through that IP and port and then this little connection thing's doing a good job so uh, we'll go to oh I don't have any courses so we need to get set up here fill out the player profile I had the gimme circle turned on you go over to courses and you get everyone's courses they're building I just started downloading a bunch if you have room on your computer I don't know why you wouldn't have them all on there alright Carnoustie already downloaded under putting right there is where you need to turn auto put on for the Garmin R10 that was something that I did not do uh, when I went and played eventually uh, that video will come soon but here's the first swing I think it's just a 7 iron or something graphics look good Ball physics, of course, looks good. Uh, shortly after this, I figure out how to start in different places by clicking this little ball icon and dragging it to where you want on the mini map. And so now we're 82 away. And so when you do the on course practice, it just brings you right back to the place that you were for another shot. And you can see the little green line underneath the word fairway in the bottom right that's basically uh, telling us that we're still connected to the Garmin these distances feel exactly what I thought they would a half swing pitching wedge go into a different hole here 111 yards just looking at all of the options and nothing really standing out it's suggesting a pitching wedge which is nice and a decent shot just short And another decent shot. So far, so good. 
Uh, hitting the little settings wheel is how you end the round and what you're doing. Um, I think the last thing that I want to look at in this video before I just keep downloading a bunch of courses is to uh, go over to the driving range and just see what that is like. Hit practice, driving range. I'm going to guess a lot of this stuff loads for the first time when you load it. So we have 416 yards, and then you can drag it in to the length that you would like. Um, options in there are not a lot. So thanks for watching, and hopefully you stay tuned for more GS Pro content coming up.